Although the box of this WSI model is small, it's certainly heavy haulage. This is a Mercedes-Benz Aux MP4 Big Space SLT 8x4 and it's complete with a ballast box and tarpaulin cover. It is a limited edition and it's in the colours of the Belgian heavy haulage specialist Van Egdom. The box style is typical WSI and inside there's a tray and the lid is factory sealed so we need the services of a sharp knife. Carefully the tape is cut leaving all fingers intact and then we can open the lid and get the model out. The parts consist of the Aux tractor, the ballast box and cover and there's also a bag containing some small parts. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. The assembly is limited to just a few bits and the first thing we can do is put a steel pin in the towing hitch at the front. And there's also the option to install a pin in the towing hitch at the rear. After that it's ballast box time and it hooks onto the fifth wheel. Looking underneath we have a typically well detailed chassis and there is a standout silver gearbox. Particularly good is all the steering around the rear axles and that includes the suspension and transmission and there are different tyres on the driven and non-driven axles. The cab roof is a detailed casting and there are two Michelin men figures. At the front there's a big light bar with beacon lights and the Van Egdom name is on the visor. Below the windscreen is a Convoy Exceptionnel sign and there's an impressive looking Aux grille. There's some very nice detailing with a number plate chevron graphics and the mud flaps have Belgium written on them. There's some very nice artwork on the sides, but it doesn't quite line up between the fairing and the cab. There are very detailed graphics on the cab door, and the edges of the wheel arches are decorated too. There's a fleet number on the leading edge, and an inlaid step up to the cab. The big equipment tower is an impressive piece of modelling with some very nice details, and that includes a non-removable ladder, and there are also coiled lines. There's a textured plate in front of the tower. Detailing at the rear includes Mercedes Benz on the mud flaps. The back of the ballast box is very nicely done, and that includes some nice texturing. The tarpaulin cover has graphics too. The ballast box sits quite low, so the white dotted line doesn't quite join up across the truck, but the plastic tarpaulin cover is nicely textured. Back underneath the Aux and the rear axles spin freely enough and the front two axles have linked steering. So let's get this big heavy hauler out onto the test track and although it tries to roll well in a straight line the steering is a bit loose. If we set the steering angle to its maximum then you get some steering but it is a little bit skiddy. As usual much better is the functionality of the tilting cab and it's able to maintain a pose and gives you a look at the engine underneath. It also closes with a satisfying clunk. If you've got a large spare trailer lying around you can fit that instead. Here we have a Nutterbaum trailer with a dolly and it just clips onto the fifth wheel in the usual way. Of course once you have a heavy haulage configuration like this you need a big load to go on it. This is a nice model of a big heavy haulage tractor by WSI. 
It is a limited edition, so that makes it very collectible. And it also looks very impressive if you put a big trailer behind it. Overall, this is a great looking model, which is easy to rate as very good.